Tell me why I took my comments advice and I lost two inches on my vertical. I gained almost 10 pounds. I've been just, nah, bro. I'm never taking your advice again. I can't even blame you guys though, because it turns out like, I, like, I guess it's just common sense, but you can't eat as much when you don't work out as hard or as much. Nah, you are so dumb. You are I guess. really dumb. Tell me why I weighed myself and the first two numbers I saw was a one and a nine. One and a nine. No more you stealing life Bruh. from me. This is I take back my life. The last time I weighed myself was less than 10 days ago. Less than 10 days. And I gained. What is that? Not well, I weigh 193 when I weigh myself, but I did eat. So I probably ate like four pounds, maybe three pounds of food. So let's just say I was exactly 190. I gained seven pounds and in, in like eight days. Bruh. That's almost a pound a day. I lost it all. I lost it all. My bounce is gone. I looked up at the rim. I went outside to play basketball. I was I wasn't that sore. I was not that sore. I looked up at the rim and I was like, why does it look so high? I looked up and I was like, the rim looks high today. <sighs> I'm not even like that mad that my bounce fell off. It's just knowing how hard I have to work to get it back. I'm like, yo, <laughs> like why? If you really think about it though, technically it, it, like, it doesn't matter as long as I get back to my, my peak weight for jumping. Even if I get to like 200 pounds, as long as I circle back, does it really matter? But that's the thing, I just made a video on how being heavy is bad for your vertical jump because it's not optimal to for having a maximum amount of max approach jumps. That's a lot of maxes. But which I do which I do still believe, but I mean I don't even know what I'm saying, you know. Boy, if you don't through um, a lot of critical thinking, self analyzation, and frying my CPU, I have come to the con to the conclusion that my diet is the problem. Ah, this is good stuff. My back is just really big because to. Instead of working out to get better, I have to work out to outwork my diet. My back is loaded up with snacks and different foods. Which is making me more fatigued, which means I can't train at as high of an intensity that I would like to because I'm always sore and fatigued. And then I can't, even when I lose the weight and I'm at op optimal jumping height, I am too fatigued to even jump. And then when I rest, I eat so much that by the time I am ready to jump, I just gain the weight back. And then I am in this constant phase. It's the end of the cycle of big backness. And it needs to end today. So for the next month, I'm only eating whole foods. I'm all, like, I'm just eating anything that's like not pro, like I'm taking, I'm getting rid of the biggest things are bread. I'm getting rid of all those grains and wheats and because those are just calorie filled and you get almost nothing back from it but big backness. Fried stuff, eating out fast food. I'm done with it all. I'm done with it, bro. I'm leaving my past life, my, my past life behind, man. Like I'm not trying to. It's just not worth it. And then every time I do it, I'm like, as soon as I start doing cardio, I'm like, I, after I eat some big back meal, I'm like, it was not worth it, man. It's not worth it. I used to be on a gluten-free diet and that was, at that point in my life, I was the lightest I ever was. I was even at one point, 160, 163. Like 163 is a crazy weight to be at when you're 6'2" and a quarter. So if I can eat healthy, get back on that gluten-free diet, I think I can get back down to like 170. But my goal, my, my goal weight is to get back down to 
175. Because I think if I go any lower than that, I'll lose power and my jumps will get lower. But I've never seen what like my rock bottom weight is to like jump higher. So I want to test the waters because every time I lose weight, every like the lower my weight is, the higher I jump. And I want to keep just keep digging until I find because right now, like I, I've hit gold, like 183. That was like even 181. That was the lightest I've ever been in like the past two years. Like I like I struck gold. Like that was when I was jumping, jumping my highest. But if I can dig even deeper somehow and get to the 170s, I might just find diamond. I might just I might just hit that. Maybe not a 50 inch vert, but maybe 48, 49. I don't know. The only way to find out is by doing it, and the only way to do it is to eat healthier. If I got this far eating out multiple times a week, fast food, pizza, burgers, fried stuff, and if I got this far doing that, imagine how much further I could get eating actually healthy. Because if we think about it, like we've never seen myself at my lightest weight while not being fatigued. And if I can do that by eating healthy and getting enough rest, I could test a really high vertical. All of the highest jumps you've seen of me I was either fatigued or I was really fatigued, but I was light. But even though I'm, I'm, I'm fatigued, if I weigh, if I'm lighter, I always jump higher. Even, like I jump higher when I'm lighter and fatigued than I do when I'm heavier and not fatigued. To even show you guys I'm serious, for breakfast I had five eggs. How much egg you fry? Vegetables. Six bumper. A little bit of sauce. Like I was debating taking sauce out too, but like you need sauce, to like you need something to flavor your food, you know, like you can't just you just only use salts and stuff. But I'm just trying to limit how much sauce I use. I'm using like an appropriate amount of sauce. So yeah, sauce and I had an apple. So that was like four or 500 calorie breakfast, whereas normally, normally my meals are a thousand calories. So I cut that right in half. That's my breakfast to start off the day. So yeah, the goal right now is to eat between 3,000 and 3,500 calories a day. Whereas before I was eating four to 5,000 a day, depending on what I did. So if you wanna see my journey from 190 pounds down to 175 pounds, from a low 40s inch vertical to a high 40s inch vertical, possibly close to 50, maybe even 50, then subscribe to see more.